Stay tuned for a breaking cassette news update. Hi, it's Tony from CassetteComeback.com. So, a quite a bit of discussions here and on Facebook regarding this Maxwell cassette. Now, I need to clarify something. This isn't technically a fake or a knockoff. If it was a fake or a knockoff, it would be called Maxell, but it's not. It's cheeky. It's what's known, at least in watch circles, which I'm also a big fan of, as an homage. I mean, basically, it is ripping off all the elements of something more well-known. But because it's not actually using any copyrighted names, i.e. it's Maxwell, it's not technically a fake, it's a knockoff. But, as this picture shows here, I've recorded the entirety of this cassette. Now, I'm a big fan of brand new music. I'm no analogue Luddite, I enjoy everything. And every week I scour the streaming sites for brand new music, which appeals to me. And I do a weekly mixtape. And last week's tape... Well, I decided I'm going to do it on the Maxwell. I mean, I know it's dated 12th of the 4th, which is before the actual video came out, but I did this actually on Monday. But all the new tunes come out on a Friday, so it's dated that way. And what did I find? Well, I found no dropouts. I didn't find any loss in level. And in, you know, in reality, the video showed it in its true light. This is actually a very decent Type 1. Not a problem at all with it. Certainly not a Type 0. Now, as I investigated more and I was reading comments, I came across this comment in the YouTube from Raven Rampkin, and I know this fella from Tapeheads, etc. And he says two things. One, that UD is 100% real. So that picture of the Maxell UD I showed saying, here's a real bad knockoff, is real. And also, the Maxwell could come from General Magnetics in Singapore. And he says, the one that supplies some tape and shells to Denon and Tayo Yudin. And that got me thinking. I think he could be right. So I went over to General Magnetics and uh, here's a website. We can see here that they have cassettes. Now, I did actually send them an email regarding their cassettes and got the response, which was literally, we no do cassette. That was it. You know, I was asking them, could they give me a bit of background? Did they know anyone that may have some for testing and all that? But no, they're... Not interested in cassettes, but not interested enough to update their website. But anyway, if you go in here and look at Blank Audio Cassette, you'll find these here. The General CDIF and the General CD2F. Look familiar? Yeah, they should. Because they look exactly like these that's. Now, if we go a bit further into the website and look at their C0 shells will actually find this. Can you see? These look very familiar. Very familiar. So it looks like the General Magnetics actually made shells, if not indeed complete tapes, for some of the bigger brands at one point. So this sort of plays into the idea that perhaps they actually made these shells for Maxell. And like with their General Tapes, which seem to be based on the Suono shell from that's, Maybe they actually made these shells and just changed the name a bit like they did with these cassettes. It makes a lot of sense because, like I say, the Maxwell tape is actually pretty good. So it could be that these are from General Magnetics. The shells they made for Maxwell and then used them themselves for their own brand. And uh, that would actually make a lot of sense rather than a small manufacturer that you've never heard of actually using decent tape and a decent shell to, pre to create a, an homage. So, yeah, well done, Raven. I think you could well be right there. Now, going on to this tape here, which I said, probably a knockoff because it says Maxell. And I mean, look at the tape. I mean, this bit here sort of tries to mimic the late 80s, early 90s oval shell Maxell, but it's not. And they ain't Maxell hubs. And they at Maxell Retainer. So I thought this was a knockoff. But I've been told by a couple of people that they're not. Now, I also found this as well. And Maxell XL UDE, which again seems to have the same sort of hubs, the same sort of shell. Which I always thought was a knockoff as well. But if you look at the back of this, you can see down here, 
made in Indonesia by Pangong Electronic Industries. Now, Pangong, if you watch my video on the Maxell UR, actually made the last of the line Maxell URs. So, I guess these cassettes here are nothing to do with Maxell whatsoever, but they are officially licensed. They're not knockoffs, they're not ripoffs. They are licensed by Maxell, even though the cassettes themselves probably have nothing to do with being manufactured by Maxell, but they were actually manufactured by Pangung under license. So that was it, just a little short update, and I hope it filled in some blanks for you. Thanks a lot, boys and girls. Happy taping. Bye-bye.